Okay, I just got home. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm in here in my house rushing to see the Amazing Spider-Man trailer. Amazing Spider-Man 2 video game. You know, tie into the first film and first video game as a sort, a sequel of sorts. All this after I get even more hyped for Batman Arkham Origins, which is unrelated to a movie universe, but I'm as big a Spider-Man fan as I am a Batman fan. Batman wins by slightly more because of complications we'll get into later. Uh, whether or not I've established how much I like the Spider-Man series, franchise, comic books, movies, more or less, already. Okay, lo and behold, I find this trailer playing. Uh, okay, we're just getting past the Marvel logo. Well, at least I am. I'll probably trim this video in a way, like I always do. And yes, it's gonna be made by Beanox, guys who have given us two out of three good Spider-Man games. And lo and behold... Oh shit, I still got the green screen pro Okay, anyway. Uh, what the hell? What? This looks awfully familiar. Spider-Man's new design? Um, uh, okay, it looks like the right Spider-Man. It's set in a universe that people don't really want to see. Uh, because they don't like movie tie-in games. The irony being that this game... Is, is all that they've got to save the name of Spider-Man these days, because he's not in a very good place. <coughs> Superior! <coughs> Dr. Octopus! <coughs> but, uh, yeah. Where have I seen this before? Oh, that's right. Holy shit. It, it's not possible. It, it's like I'm New seeing York double. City. Insert Team Rocket music here. It's my home my playground so either time traveling is a part of the movie verse for sony and beanox now or or this game ha it has the production of this game has time traveled to about 10 years maybe 12 or more with treyarch at the helm of the development cycle and uh you know just for the people who don't understand just for my subscribers and viewer base and the people who know how much i like the spider-man game series um, this is a promotion for the next gen of systems for the PlayStation 4. It looks like a game two generations backward. I, I think I, I think I've got some liberty to dispute why the game looks the way it does. But who knows? Maybe they decided to tone down the graphical output in exchange for elaborating missions. I mean, Amazing Spider-Man has a visual this polish. The first game is beautiful, but um, it can get old pretty quickly. The missions are repetitive and stale. Um, for Spider-Man 2, which is, you know what? I can't even disambiguate any anymore. It's the new meaning. You guys wanted Spider-Man 2 the game. There it is. Well, I guess maybe what we see now won't be in the final product. Here's hoping the immediate skepticism dissolves.